Why hire from the Philippines? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why hiring from the Philippines is a really smart move. What I'm going to show you today worked for Kim Sellers Brown and she posted on Facebook and she said, do you have to be making tons of money before you hire? No, I average $2,000 growth gross a month and I hired two rock star VAs from the Philippines that are dedicated and bought in to making my business a success. I've just used Jen's technique again to hire my graphic designer. Her systems techniques have saved me time, money and frustration, allowing me to focus on the cream of the crop to hire. Because I now have three amazing team members, I can stop turning away business. And I doubled my gross in just two months from when I completed her course. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Jen Lehner. Welcome to my channel. I am a digital marketing and systems strategist, and I work with solopreneurs, uh, so small businesses, coaches, authors, course creators to exponentially grow their businesses by outsourcing the smart way. And I have a team of virtual assistants from the Philippines, and I'm going to tell you why it's the smartest move I ever made. First of all, it's a very educated workforce. In the Philippines, education is a very big priority. They value education. In fact, I went to university in the Philippines for a year as an exchange student way back in the day. And I can tell you that they have top-notch universities there. And it's not unusual, actually, when you are hiring in the Philippines to have applicants who have advanced degrees, not just bachelor's degrees, but master's degrees, medical degrees, uh, all sorts of degrees. So you need to know that people in the Philippines are very educated. Number two, people in the Philippines are very proficient in English. And it is not difficult to find a Filipino VA who is completely fluent in English. Most people in the Philippines speak English. Number three, when you hire a virtual assistant from the Philippines, you can expect that person to be very loyal to you in your business. Now, obviously, we're assuming that you're going to be a really great person to work with. And if that's the case, you could count on your VA being very, very loyal to you. Filipino people have an amazing work ethic. And this is kind of a silly example, but it's kind of not. Just the other day, I was getting ready to go for a lot, go on a live stream. And my head virtual assistant, Nika, uh, was working the control room. And we got the countdown, three, two, one, and it was time to go on. And Nika looked at me with very large eyes and she said, oh no, Jen, there's a snake on my desk. And I was like, what? And in just that flash second, she was thinking quickly. And fortunately the snake was wrapped around her monitor, but she also had a laptop. So she grabbed the laptop and she went into another room. But here's the Here's the snake wrapped around her monitor right there. So Nika's very loyal and snake or no snake, she was going to be there with me to get this live stream done. Number five, the time difference is actually going to work to your benefit. Let me explain. Because if you are in the United States or Canada, it's pretty much the opposite time in the Philippines. That means when you're sleeping, your VA is awake. When your VA is asleep, you are awake. You can really use this to your advantage. For example, when you go to bed you or when you leave your office and you hand over a project to your virtual assistant, when you wake up in the morning, it's done. Pretty awesome. But there are a lot of people who want to work in the same time zone or they want to work on the same hours. And that's fine too. And in fact, we do do that um, in my business. And I left that up to my virtual assistants as to whether or not they wanted to do this. And here's the thing, you will find virtual assistants who don't mind at all working the graveyard shift as they call it. And that's for a couple of reasons. Number one, they are very accustomed to call centers. You, you probably know a lot of times when you call customer support on the other end of the phone is a Filipino person who is up at you know, god-awful hours of the night. But this is just part of the reality is that 
people in the Philippines are accustomed to working those hours because they do business with the Western world. And in order to do that, unfortunately, a lot of people need to stay up those hours, but it's, it has been going on for so long that it's really a very common thing. And what you'll find is a lot of virtual assistants, they will prefer to work those hours. I mean, obviously you wanna make sure that your virtual assistant is getting enough sleep. That's another story. We won't, don't wanna ask our virtual assistants to work you know, the graveyard shift and then not get any sleep at all. But typically the way that it works is they work the, just like anywhere, they work the graveyard shift and then they sleep through a lot of the day and that's it. But really the t- so many people ask me, well, isn't it weird or isn't it difficult to have this gap in the time zone? And no, it's actually uh, can really be a benefit to you as a matter of fact. Number six, you're gonna find that people in the Philippines for the most part have a very positive disposition. Why is that? I don't know. Maybe it's because um, it's a very religious con- country. It's primarily Catholic. Maybe it's because there's such a strong value of a sense of community and an appreciation and a priority of family. And there's such a respect for their elders. It's un- not uncommon to enter a room and kiss an older person's hand. They are addressed a completely different way than other people with the term po. And it's a way of showing respect, something that's kind of lacking uh, in our culture, I'm sure you agree. Maybe it's all those things combined, baked into this wonderful human being that then results in a person with just a really positive disposition. And it is a pleasure. Number seven, now finally, the last really great reason to hire from the Philippines is because you can leverage exchange rates and get a really wonderful virtual assistant full-time for a fraction of what you would pay in the United States or the UK or Canada. This is really a whole video in and of itself. So if you want me to do a video all about this and break down for you how that money is spent, how far that money goes in the Philippines and uh, what you can expect to pay over the course of a year and how we do the salary model in my business, just type in the comments down below that you want me to make a video and I will do that. So good news, doors to my signature program, Front Row CEO, are open now, but only for a few hours. If you're watching this before September the 1st, the doors are still open. If you're watching this after September the 1st, just go to frontrowceo.com and get on the waiting list. But this step-by-step program walks you through every single step of the process in hiring a virtual assistant from soup to nuts and beyond. So not just hiring your virtual assistant, but working with your virtual assistant as a partner over the course of years. You don't want a fly-by-night contractor. You want a person who is going to grow with you and your business. And that's what I show you how to do with templates and spreadsheets and checklists and scripts everything is in there. So go to frontrowceo.com. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you tap the like and subscribe and that little bell so you never miss an episode. See you next time.